Another way that you can really control the placement of objects within your Flash document is to use what are called guides. And before you can use them, you have to make sure that you have the ruler turned on and that you have the guides turned on. So right click on a blank area of your stage and click on rulers so you can now see your rulers. Right click again on a blank area of your stage and go to guides and then click on show guides. Now you could go up to either one of your rulers. You're going to start here and just go up to the edge of where your um, stage meets the ruler and go ahead and click and you can see that my cursor changed to a little bit of a different shape. You can drag this line down you can go ahead and let go wherever you want it placed. And these are just guides. This is nothing that's going to show up in your actual finished Flash document. Go over here, click. I'm going to get another one. And you can use as many as you want. And then you could go ahead and you could place your objects based on those guides so you can get the exact placement that you want. When you're finished using the guide, then simply click on it to select it and then drag it back to the, your ruler and just release your mouse and it will go ahead and delete those.